Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Hope you guys are having a great, uh, what day is it today? It's actually, I have to think about it. It's Tuesday. And right now, let me get my phone set up. Uh, I want to set my timer on here. I don't want to overdo this training. And th that's right, this is going to be a training video just for you guys. And let me set my clock here. There we go. Let me go ahead and hit it. Okay, it started. This is a training uh, video for those of you that are my past, present clients, and those of you that are actually um, on my Facebook group page. And I hope you guys don't mind. I just got back from the gym, so I have my workout shirt still on. So today, guys, is just a it's, it's another training video about um, the car bath. And some of you had some questions about how to figure out what your BMR, uh, what your BMR is. And now I gave you guys a book. I, there's a training book. It's called Calculating Your BMR. And BMI and BMR are basically the verbiage is the same thing. Now, what the BMR guys is is what that means. It's the amount of calories that you need to have per day to maintain what you already have and to be able to function throughout the day. That's what the BMR is. It's, it's a calculation of the calories you need to be consuming every single day to maintain your weight or to maintain what you have currently today. But when you're looking to lose weight, the object is to have a deficit of those calories to a point where you're going to lose either one or two or three pounds a week, depending on how consistent you are. And of course, depending on the types of food. Now, you guys all know that we promote uh, fasting mimicking meals, all organic uh, meats are always going to be pasture raised, grass fed, eggs and chicken are all cage free, all good, healthy, organic without any kind of antibiotics or horm hormones in it. Uh, we also promote and we incorporate uh, intermittent fasting along with it to escalate fat loss or fat inches loss, not weight scale loss. You guys know I don't like scales. And then we're also, uh, my main platform is always going to be water, and it's always going to be hydrogen-rich water, because that's the best source of water you could be uh, consuming to hydrate yourself. Um, right now, guys, uh, city water, bottled water, even those alkaline bottled waters, the media and science have been warning us for the last few years that they're all toxic. And it's getting worse year after year. Matter of fact, just real br briefly, I can test um, I can test water that is uh, got a lot of toxic chemicals in it because it's got a positive charge. And uh, in the last two or three years, the city water uh, back three or four years ago, the positive charge was around 400, 450, kind of like sodas and things. But now, some areas, the pot, the city water has now jumped up to as high as 700 with a positive, which means it's got a lot of toxic chemicals in it causing uh, inflammation to the body. And guys, what gives me the ability? I'm actually a certified hydration specialist. I got a certificate back here. Actually, I went to school for it, so I actually got certified to be a hydration specialist. And so I've spent a lot of years researching it. But I want to get back to our subject today, and that's about calculating out uh, what your calories should be at if you're looking to lose um, one, one pound. So technically, most health professionals, when you're calculating out a person's calories to uh, give them an idea or a uh, starting point of what they should be consuming every day, say, for example, mine is 2,600 calories a day to maintain what I have right now. What you have to do in order to lose fat inches is you have to subtract 500 calories from your total calories. So if you subtract 500 from 2,600, what that leave me? That means that I have to that I have to consume 
2,100 calories a day, and my deficit is 500 calories a day. Uh, for the for and so that will help me. That will get me to lose one pound per week. Now, if you incorporate intermittent fasting, and of course, if you incorporate um, <clears throat> interval strength training three to four days a week, that's going to escalate the fat burning. So instead of burning just maybe one pound a week, you might burn two or three pounds a week. It just depends on how consistent you are with the types of foods you're eating. And if you're doing the uh, fasting mimicking meals, which is more, which is a ketogenic meals, low carbs, higher good dietary fats. So I'm going to take you, to, I'm going to do a share screen real quick here, guys. I'm going to take you over to the training book that most of you probably already have. So let me go to my share screen. Okay, here we go. Let me minimize this. All right, let me go on my downloads. Okay. Here's the book right here. So this is a this is the picture of the training book you guys should should have. And let me go to the place. So this is the information calculating daily calorie burn BMR. This is some educational information explaining what a BMR is and so forth. I'm, hopefully, the, those of you that have the book have already gone through it. But this is how we're going to calculate uh, our, BM, our BMR so that you can, um, when you do the Carb Manager app, these are, this is the calories that you want, to, you want to put in there. So you're going to probably have to customize it yourself, okay? So refer back to my uh, training book, and this is, going, a matter of fact, I think what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna go ahead and send this all back out to you guys again. So uh, if you already have this, don't worry about it. I'm gonna go ahead and send you this because I did do some updates in it. But these are the formulas for the men and these are the, this is the formula for the women how to calculate your, your calories that you need to consume throughout the day just to maintain, okay? So let's take, uh, let's take Emily as, as an example. So for women, you've got, you got 655.1 plus 9.563 times your weight plus 1.850 times your height, and your height has to be in inches, and then you're gonna subtract 4.676 times your age from the total, and that's gonna give you what you're looking for. So let's say, uh, let's take Emily as an example, okay? So here's Emily. So 655.1 plus 9, 9.563 times her weight, she weighs 123 pounds, <clears throat> plus 1.850 times her height in inches, she's 64 inches, and then you subtract 4.676 times her age, and she's 67 years old. So where does that come out to? Well, if you take the 655, I, I just rounded it off, and you added it to the, uh, to the 9.563 times the weight, that, comes out the, that weight comes out to 1176 plus uh, 1.850 times her height. So her height, so that number comes out to 118. You add all these up, 655, 1176 plus 118, and that total comes out to 1,943 calories. So that's what her calories is at, at that point. Then you're going to take 4.676 times her age, which is 67, and you're going to subtract that from her total. And that's her calories, 1,636 calories. That's what she needs to consume throughout the day in order to maintain what she has. But now what we're looking at, and I'm just using this as an example, 
is we're we're looking at keeping our lean uh, uh, our body fat percentage down as low as, as low as it is right now. We want to maintain that, so we still need to uh, calculate 500. So what what we want to do is we want to subtract 500. Uh, here we go. So subtract 500 from the total of 1636, and you're going to get 1136 calories and consume per day to lose one pound of body fat. So she had so for her to lose one pound per week, that's what she has to consume. Now. Obviously, she's probably around, I think she averages maybe 12, 1300 calories a day. Uh, her protein, uh, a lot of those calories are going to be from protein and fat. Very few are from carbs because we're on a low carb diet. And so, guys, so that's how you get started. That's how you're going to calculate your calories per day. Now, for a guy, it's pretty much the same thing. And so, I have an example in here. For a guy, a guy that is 37 years old, he's six foot, six feet tall, and weighs 170 pounds. And this is kind of, uh, this is kind of where I am right now. I'm, I'm at about uh, 23. I'm at about 2,300 calories. I think that's what this guy comes out to. Uh, to sum up, you subtract the 500. Let's see here. Yeah, it's 20 uh, to consume 24 calories maintained. So. He needs to consume 2448 calories to maintain his what what he has now, and then you subtract 500 from from that. I, when you calculate mine out at the time I did it, I was all the way up to 3200 calories, which is way too many calories for 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 me. I'm more in the 2300 calorie. So for me to lose a pound uh, a pound of let me, let me go back out of this here. For me to go to, to um, let me go here, there we go. Okay, I'm back. For, for me to uh, lose one pound per week, if that's just what I want to do, then uh, I need to be at around 21, 2200 calories per day. Uh, but if you look at, if you were to go back to the other video I did, you could see where my uh, protein intake was, uh, Pretty high, which I'm getting most of my calories from protein, and I'm about 55, 6 percent good dietary fat. Now, obviously, there's going to be a lot more calories in good dietary fat than there are carbs. So my carbs are usually around uh, 20 to 30 grams per day. Uh, even on my um, my uh, higher calorie days, I, I might I might hit 40 every so often, but everything's going to be from uh, veggie carbs. I really don't do any kind of low glycemic starchy carbs that not that often, maybe once or twice every couple of weeks or so. But anyway, guys, so when you're setting up your um, your app, now like I said, I really do recommend you guys to get that free carb manager app for and use it for about 30 days and input your food intake for all seven days every week for at least 30 days. To give you an idea, it'll keep you accountable. It'll keep you accountable that you're going to eat enough protein and you're going to only have a certain amount of veggies. Remember, fibrous veggies are different than uh, low glycemic starchy veggies. Fibrous veggies will metabolize much, much faster in the body than starchy, uh, low glycemic starchy foods. So you can actually overeat fibrous veggies and go over your carb intake on your carb manager and not affect your fat burning. Matter of fact, it's the fiber uh, in your veggies that uh, will actually have, help you to eliminate even better when you're doing the uh, fasting mimicking meals and you're doing intermittent fasting with that, guys. So, guys, like I said, I really recommend you to do that. It'll keep you accountable. It's going to take a little work from you guys to figure it out, but you got to learn the app. It's probably one of the easiest uh, apps you can probably uh, use. And what's really cool about it is you can uh, customize your own meals like I did. I showed you how to do that 
at the last video how I customized my own meals. You just got to play with it. Don't be afraid of it. It may take you some time to learn it, but just play, uh, play with it. And then that's going to give you an idea. You're not going to have to use it all the time. That's just going to give you an idea of your meals and how much you have. And like for us, I may do this. I'm doing it right now. But I may, I, I may do this every six to eight months just to keep myself accountable and just to see where I am. Because I already know day by day what, how much protein per meal I'm eating. I already know all that stuff. But like I said, I just want to keep it to be where it's, um, where I know, um, shoot, there we go. Sorry about that. I'm past the time. <laughs> I think it was making funny noises too. But anyway, hope you guys saw some value in this. And I hope it helped some of you guys to show you how to calculate your uh, BMR and how to keep your calories um, intact so you can lose one, two, three pounds a week. Okay, guys, you guys have a great day. We'll see you guys at the next trading video.